Okay, I was born in Hamilton and then moved to Dundas when I was uh, six, seven years old. And uh, decided and wanted to play hockey. So the Dundas area had uh, good hockey teams and so I joined the team. And uh, my parents said to me, uh, Don, you're, you're skating great counterclockwise, but what about clockwise? How come? And I don't know, I don't practice it that much. And my parents said, you know, there's a Dundas figure skating club. I'm sure they'll be able to help you out and um, teach you how to skate both directions, do turns and stuff. So I did, I joined the, the figure skating club. Holy smokes, this little guy from Dundas, uh, undersized, uh, fast, uh, real sort of a regular kind of guy, uh, ends up being third in the world and really was just missed the silver medal by, by uh, this much and one of the most uh, favorite sports in, in this country. Our next inductee was the 1965, 66 and 67 Canadian National Senior Men's Figure Skating Champion and the 1967 North American Champion. Don Knight became the Canadian Junior Champion when he was just 13 years old. Don Knight was the kind of guy you would take a look at his figures and say, I want my skater to skate just like that. And he was taught by two of the best, probably the two most legendary coaches of all time in Canada, uh, Ellen Burka and Sheldon Galbraith. Those names won't resonate with most people uh, currently, but believe me, on the world level in figure skating and the history of figure skating, those are two of the greatest coaches, and Don was one of their favorite students. Don was just 15 when he competed in the first of his five ISU World Skating Championships, and he won the bronze medal at the 1965 World Event. This time, Kalma wins the world title. Allen is second, and Donald Knight of Canada, third. Don was a five-time member of Canada's world team and represented his country at the 1964 Olympic Games in Innsbruck, Austria. The fabled Austrian city deep in the Tyrolean Alps. A thousand athletes from 36 nations opened the ninth Winter Games in a colorful pageantry. The fact to be representing Canada on the Olympic team, the, the coming over the opening ceremonies, and we marched as a team into the ski jump area. That was where they, they held it. And uh, it was very memorable at the time and still great memories of it today. Then the games began. The North American Men's Figure Skating Championship held in Montreal is taken by 19-year-old Donald Knight of Dundas, Ontario. And the fact that you're at the national championships, and they weren't as often on television, but the world was starting to be televised then, uh, that they would say from Dundas, Ontario. That really makes a difference for everybody else who skates there. I think the fact that uh, figure skating wasn't really that popular when I was skating, the fact that I did train hard and the recognition that, that came out of that, I think people started to look at it. More male skaters started to take part and it's just evolved and evolved over the years. It was the summer of 1967. Don had just turned professional. He had joined Ice Capades. I was already in Ice Capades for a couple of years at that point. And we were on the ice practicing and Don came on the ice and went around and introduced himself to all the principals on the ice. And he came up to me and I walked up to him and I put my hand out and I said, uh, my name is Janet Run, welcome to Ice Capades. And that was our first encounter. And when I joined Ice Capades, I met my future to be wife, Janet. After retiring from competitive skating, he toured for 11 years as a principal performer with Ice Capades and Holiday on Ice in Europe. And I performed at the ice shows until I was 33 years old. So it was 1980 that Janet and I got off the road. Don continued his association with his sport as a skating coach consultant with the Burlington Skate Center in Halton. Don was inducted into the Skate Canada Hall of Fame in 2008. Now inducted into the Hamilton Sports Hall of Fame in 2017, Don Knight.